talking about Al Gore and how he spent the day lecturing America about the damage that we are doing to the environment. But when it comes to carbon credits and living a carbon neutral lifestyle, it seems the vanquished vice president isn't quite that credible. The Associated Press reported this week that zoning rules in his upscale Tennessee neighborhood have prevented him from installing solar panels. Meanwhile, we learned more this week about the zinc mine that the vice president owned on his family land for years. Now, I'm no environmental expert, but just looking at these pictures tells me this isn't the behavior of a tree hugger. Joining us now is the author of the Politically Incorrect Guide to Global Warming and Environmentalist, Chris Horn is back with us, and the Executive Director of Greenspeace USA, John Passa Canado. And thank you both for being with us. All right, Chris, you know, the idea of carbon offsets, we now know that Gore actually owns this carbon offset company. Uh, so it's interesting, he's sort of buying it from his own company which I think shows greater hypocrisy on a much higher level. But again, if we're having this, you know, real disaster, civilizations in jeopardy, why doesn't he just reduce his pollution of the planet? Yeah, it's about time somebody in this movement, other than the Unabomber, go off the grid, swear off private jets, and start walking the talk. Unfortunately, they won't. We're using gimmicks, for example, these carbon offsets. If Sean, you, or let's just say more likely Alan, pay someone else to be faithful to offset cheating on your wife, I assure you, your wife will tell you you're still cheating. Okay. If a glutton, more appropriate in this case, pays someone else to go on a diet to offset his gluttony binges, he's still a glutton. Why don't people who say, who claim believe that this is the greatest threat facing mankind, a global crisis, your infant's on fire, don't wait to see if he's flame retardant, as some of course hyperbole today. Start walking their talk, because actions, again, speak much louder than words, yeah. and so far, living on private jets, four houses, four luxury homes, and he tells me to take cold showers hey. and string a clothesline? And, and, and use candles. By, 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 by the way, your book is excellent, Chris. I want people you know, you, to know that, that it's a terrific book. All right, John, let me, let me go to you. He was challenged Please. today, the vice president. He was challenged to take a pledge that he would consume no more energy than the average American household. That means you know, he's using 22 times the electricity in one of his homes. Why, why is that unreasonable to say if we're really about to have a catastrophe? Why would it be so unreasonable to say Al Gore lead by example? Is that unreasonable? I don't know whether it's reasonable or not. I don't know how he lives his life. I know what he's done is he's done the service uh, of a great American. He has educated the country about the threat to our country. But, to it, our but, world no, but that's being disputed by a lot of scientists. No, that, John, that's he, being disputed. You're not answering my question. This is a simple being question. Why, why do you give him a pass? 20 I'm plus times pass, the electricity of, of Americans in one house, P flying around on private jets but telling us to walk and use light rail and get on a bicycle. Why can't well, you just I, say, I don't think he's telling us to lead by example? He's telling us to, to, to use energy m much more efficiently. He's telling us why doesn't do he do it? Can, use why don't you demand to do hey, uh, I got a question for Chris. Did he really tell you to take a cold yeah. shower? I don't think so. Uh, I hope not. I don't think he ever told you that. Uh, I don't think he ever told you that, Chris. Look, Al Gore. Oh, yeah, me, the fabulous. Everybody but the fabulous. Like, let's get the facts on the table. Al Gore increased his electric bill by more than 50% to minimize carbon pollution. Yeah. He's actually paying Which extra home? money in order to uh, be Which as green as he can be. Um, uh, he has home? bought 108 blocks of green power for every each of the past three months, which is like recycling 2.8 million aluminum cans. He tries to reduce right. emissions as much as possible. Why don't you, Chris, right. give him some credit and stop slamming no, no. the guy and smearing him? No, no, no. And, and if I can, uh, if quite I can add some points, no, 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 you can't, John. You had your turn. You had Chris, your turn. Ahead, we'll get to John. Uh, quite easily, because right. carbon neutral is not carbon free. You can either give up the activities or buy indulgences. Remember, the trees he's planting take 80 years to soak up the one year of carbon credit he's getting all in one year, and they don't do it for 10 years. It's a gesture. He's not stopping the activities. Are you making that gesture? That? Are climatically criminal. Are you doing it? Okay, so he's not walking the Are you talk. making that gesture? I don't live on private jets. I don't he have four live on private luxury jets. homes, and I don't lecture people as the arch druid of the High Church uh, of Environmentalism the and Lifestyle to scream right, right, here. All right, John, go ahead. What Al Gore has done is he's brought the science to us so we know to act. People are ready to act. Even ExxonMobil won't fund Chris He's Warner not. anymore. The Ford Motor Company, the coal <laughs> companies, the utilities are ready to start yeah. reducing emissions. Is Chris, that, you're acting like the last tobacco actually, scientist. Actually, they're not you're picking ready to on Al emissions. Gore Here's when the you're, question. Well, John, you're avoiding the argument. I have this for We've you. Gotta no picking on anybody. Hold on, hold on, John, Chris, I say John you're right. I say you're right. No, he said, he asked me, are we ready? Okay, these companies aren't ready. You know why? 
Even if we stipulate Goldman everything Sachs, all the Walmart. elements say, nobody has ever... Goldman Sachs got into this because Enron hired them to set up a credit trading scheme. At Goldman least Sachs got into this because they're, they're going to play make bookies money solving and wet their problem. beak on both Bravo. ends. Bravo. That's right. The, right. Brought, the traders in London call this our new playground because it's an inefficiency on the economy. Chris, the you're the last tobacco defender. First and worst. All right, guys. Uh, no ad hominem attacks. Hey, Chris, thanks for being with us. The book is excellent. And coming up, thanks. the war is...